one of Earth's greatest mysteries is how it transformed itself, ever so gradually, from a barren ball of rock into a launching pad for life. Hi, and welcome to Vey's World. What about climate control? Earth scientists have spent decades piecing together the relevant clues, identifying and studying the planet's complex interplay of geological process, atmosphere dynamics, and chemical cycles. In particular, scientists have studied the roles played by carbon and silicon in stabilizing Earth's climate over a vast expanse of time. Now, a Yale-led study in the journal Nature provides a look at this three billion year old story told in ancient sediments from around the world. Earth's climate has changed many times. For example, fossils from the Cretaceous period, 144 to 65 million years ago, show that Earth was much warmer than it is today. Fossilized plants and animals that normally live in warmer environments have been found at much higher latitudes than they could survive at today. For instance, breadfruit trees now found on tropical islands grew as far north as Greenland. Earth has also experienced several major ice ages, at least four in the past 500,000 years. During these periods, Earth's temperatures decreased, causing an expansion of ice sheets and glaciers. The most recent ice age has begun about 2 million years ago and peaked about 20,000 years ago. These ice caps been retreating 18,000 years ago. They have not disappeared completely. However, their presence in Antarctica and Greenland suggests Earth is still in sort of an ice age. Many scientists believe we are in an interglacial period when warmer temperatures have caused the ice caps to recede. Many centuries from now, the glaciers may advance again. Scientists also have chemical evidence of ice glaciers from sediments and sedimentary rocks. Some rocks only form from glacial material. Their presence under the ocean or on land also tells scientists that glaciers were once present in these areas. Fossils show what kind of animals and plants lived in certain areas. During ice ages, organisms that are adapted to cold weather can increase their range, moving closer to the equator. Organisms that are adapted to warm weather may lose part of their habitat, or even go extinct. Climate changes occur over shorter periods as well. For example, the so-called Little Ice Age lasted only a few hundred years, peaking during the 16th and 17th centuries. During this time, average global temperatures were 1 to 1.5 degrees Celsius, 2 to 3 degrees Fahrenheit, cooler than they are today. The impact of large meteors on Earth could also cause climate change. The impact of a meteor would send millions of tons of debris into the atmosphere. This debris would block at least some of the sun's rays, making it cold and dark. This climate change would severely limit what organisms could survive. Many paleontologists believe that the impact of the meteor or the comet contributed to the extinction of dinosaurs Dinosaurs simply could not survive in a cool, dark climate. Their bodies could not adjust to the cold, and the dark limited the growth of the plants on which they fed. That's my short investigation for climate change. See you next week for another Vase World.